Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics. A problem and it reads a projectile is fired from an initial velocity of VA is equal to 150 meters per second off the roof of the building. Determine the range where it strikes the ground at B. Solution We have been asked to find uh, the range which is the distance from A from this point here to that point there okay so before i find the distance let me let us remind each other of um, equations that govern motion like in this particular case where we've got constant acceleration and the acceleration in our case here is g which is acceleration due to gravity and it only acts, acts on this particular object in the vertical uh, motion direction so we are going to have two sets of equation, vertical as well as horizontal. For vertical motion, we'll have, uh, the initial, uh, the final position is equal to initial position plus the initial velocity in the y direction times time plus half g t squared, where g is equal to minus 9.81 meters per second squared. Then we have velocity, final velocity is equal to initial velocity. Uh, initial velocity, okay, uh, plus uh, g times t. Okay, and then we have uh, final velocity is going to be equal to um, final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared uh, plus 2g final position minus initial position then we have the horizontal motion equation this particular case the horizontal velocity is considered constant so we, because the acceleration is equal to zero so x final is equal to x node uh, plus p node in the x direction times t the acceleration part is zero v final is equal to v node in the y right v final in the y okay and then we have v final squared of course expect it to be that way right in this particular case acceleration is equal to zero in the horizontal direction only right so we have this particular problem here we have been asked to find the range all right let's see write down the few boundary conditions that we have so we have a uh, y node in this particular case if this is our reference y node will be equal to 150 meters x node will be equal to 0 meters y final Y final is going to be equal to 0 meters at this point. And the X final is going to be equal to the range which we are looking for. And then our initial velocity is going to have two components. One in the horizontal and the other one in the vertical. The one in the horizontal we are calling it VAX. So our initial horizontal velocity which is equal to 115 times... 4 over 5 and then this gives us 120 meters per second then we have in the vertical we are calling it VAY is equal to 150 by 3 over 5 and this is giving us a 90 meters per second I think we've uh, labeled everything that requires to be labeled so now how do we work out this particular problem all right so we are required to find the range and for us to find the range we are going to use this equation but if you look at this equation we have the x final do we have it no we don't have that is what we are looking for x node mm -hmm, we have it v velocity velocity in the v node x velocity in the x direction do we have it of course we do the initial time we don't have it we don't have it so we need the time right all right so let's use this equation to find the time are we able to find the time with that equation mm -hmm. 
all right let's get moving our oh, why what is our why our oh, why let me just plug in all the values we have y fine what is y fine it's zero y not it is 150 v zero y v not y uh if 90 time we don't have g is minus 9.81 meters per second squared t we don't have so we have everything here except t right so we can find t right can we okay so uh let's begin the work let's begin the work so okay so we have our y we said y final is zero um y node is 150 this one okay um velocity in the y direction is 90 times t minus y minus because our g is minus okay it's pulling downward and then t, t squared have we done everything correctly v y 90 v not y 90 all right this is fine so let's write this this is going to be 4.905 t squared plus 90 t 90 right mm -hmm. and then plus 115 is equal to zero this is a quadratic equation and i wrap this stuff here thank you all right so our t our t using a quadratic equation is going to be equal to minus b plus and minus root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a so our t is going to be equal to our b here is 19 so we have 90 plus or minus 90 squared minus 4 what is our a is minus 4.905 what is our c is 115 and then what is our a again is minus 4.905 so therefore our t is going to be equal to um so 90 squared uh, minus minus becomes a plus so plus 4 by 4.905 4 by 150 right mm -hmm. and we get and then root of that we get a minus t plus or minus root of uh, not root of we've already rooted this minus as uh, equal to i mean this is equal to 105.09 divided by when you multiply the two it gives us a minus 9.81 all right so we have two t's one t is going to be a minus so one is minus 19 plus 150.09 divided by 9.81 so 1 is a negative 6.13 seconds the other one let me just repeat that one 90 plus 105.09 divided by minus 9.81 Okay, 19 plus 115.09 divided by 9.81. Okay, so 6.125 rounded off to 6.13. So the other one is going to be a 90 and the minus 90 and the minus 105. Okay, then divided by 9.81. So this one 
we get uh, we get um, 9.81 we get a 19.89 seconds so one is positive so we don't have time we need so this is not there so we are picking the positive. we don't have seconds uh, i mean time in seconds right okay so this is the time all right so we have time right up here we have our time equal to um 19.89 seconds so this is the time it takes from a for this object to follow or to go through or to follow this projectile path to point b all right so now the question is to find the range so we said we are going to use two equations can i wrap this all right so the other equation which is in the horizontal direction is x final is equal to x naught in the x direction they are all then plus b naught in the x times t so our x which is equal to the range will be equal to what is the x node x node we said is zero what is our v node x v node x is 120 and what's our time is 19.89 so what is our x what are we getting so this we get we get um 19.89 by 120 all right we are getting a 2386.8 meters okay therefore our range r is equal to Two thousand three hundred and eighty six point eight meters. Okay, so this is uh, the distance that this particular object takes for it to reach point B, that is from this point to B. Okay, if we call this point A from A to B, it covers this distance. All right. I guess we are done. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening. See you in my next uh, screencast.